So I have an issue that has been building over the last few months, if not over the last year or two. But it's now hit a fever pitch because I'm in winter. So let me go over my setup and I'll tell you what my issue is. So I have a really nice 6,000 watt, 24 volt split phase inverter that is bulletproof, gorgeous. I have really nice charge controllers and I have a huge battery bank uh, north of 20 kilowatt hours. And I review batteries so I get batteries all the time. So I could make this thing uh, as big as I possibly want to make it. But here's the problem. My solar panels are old. They were used solar panels and now they're just really showing their age. And on top of that, I have some environmental issues. I'm in Oklahoma now, so we get more rain, more clouds, more moisture in the air. So that means the energy that can come in is less. On top of that, I have a lot more trees here. So the hours of solar energy are less. So when you take the environmental issues and the aging solar panels and add them up, it really turns into a bad situation. So I actually did a test a couple nights ago. I have a small space heater and I tried running it overnight. And it's, I, read, I had it on low, so it was about 600 watts. So 600 times 10 or 12, this battery array should have easily handled that. And it failed. I came in the next morning and the system was off. So it's not even charging them up enough that they can run overnight. So that's creating a lot of havoc. Not only is it lowering my capacity to the point where I can't even use a space heater, but because they're not getting charged at 100%, the balancing is going to start becoming affected and it could start hurting my batteries. So here's my plan. I have four 1000 watt arrays on my roof and I'm going to go up there and I'm going to take them all off the roof and bring them down and I'm going to test them one by one and I'm going to find the bad cells, take them out, reconfigure my arrays and then buy whatever new panels I need to get to get me back up and running. And I really like to get some panels that do better in low light or even shaded conditions. So I've taken all my arrays off the roof as you can see behind me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test each one of them. I'm going to find the bad cells, get rid of them, reconfigure my arrays, get some new solar panels, and get everything up and running so I can have enough solar to go through the winter time. So my testing is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm going to start with a known new panel, see how well it does with the sun and with the charge controller, and then I can use that as kind of a control on my 250, on my old 250 test. So let's see what we get. So this one's putting out 110 out of a 200 watt panel. All right, first panel up is one that has been compromised. So I'm pretty sure this one's not gonna do well. I wanna talk about something real quick. If you're ever unsure about the correct angle and position of your solar panels, you know, you can go to websites and they'll tell you the best angle for your area for your time of year. But um, it still can be confusing all those angles and everything. So if you want a surefire, easy, quick way of knowing that your panels are correctly orientated and angled, get a can. Now it's Thanksgiving, so it's best to use cranberry sauce, but you don't have to. But you put the can on there, and when you have no shadows, you know you're at the correct angle and the correct tilt. There, there, shadow, 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 shadow 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 and so now I know I'm at the correct angle and the correct tilt let's see how it's doing so this one's at 178 so considering our control was a little over 50 percent this one is a perfectly fine panel so this is the last one and I was thinking this was going to be a problematic one and I was right this one is 40 watts and most of the other ones have been 175 to 200 so the most of them are in pretty good shape. This is a stinker. This is what's causing me some problems. So I've just finished testing all of my panels. Well, not quite all of them. I still have one array up on my roof because I didn't want to take everything down and have no power going into my, into my solar setup. And these I know are pretty good. I also have two more here that probably need to be replaced, but these I'm pretty comfortable are good. So let's go back down to the results. And I'm, not surprised by the results, but I'm not really too disappointed either. These did pretty good, between 70 and 85%. That's not bad. These are completely acceptable. The next pile is ones that didn't do great. They are under 50%, so these are problematic ones that need to be pulled out. This one did 92, and the one underneath it did 93. So this is the bad pile, and fortunately, there's only one, and this one is really bad. 
you can see today's test did 40. And I've done this test three times now, just to give everything a, a fair shot. And the first time was 32, then 30, and now 40. But still, this panel needs to go. It is causing problems, and it is definitely no good anymore. So what I'm gonna do now is I will take the best panels, reconsolidate. I should get at least two arrays, maybe three arrays out of it. Then I can buy four new ones and just replace these two and then super bad and then assume that one of these may be no good so that really just means I only have to replace one array if anyone has done anything like this or you got a question please leave a comment below as always like comment share subscribe that's it for now thanks for watching now I got to go buy myself some panels